The 4-4-2 formation can be played in various ways, depending on the team's tactical approach, the style of play, and the specific instructions given by the coach. However, here is a general overview of how the 4-4-2 formation is typically played. Defensive phase. 1. Shape and organization. The team sets up with two banks of four players. The backline consists of two center backs and two full backs, forming a solid defensive base. The midfielders position themselves in a flat line in front of the defense, providing cover and blocking passing lanes. 2. Defensive compactness. The players work together to maintain a compact shape, limiting spaces for the opposition to exploit. The two banks of four players stay close to each other horizontally and vertically making it difficult for the opponents to find gaps and penetrate the defense. 3. Pressing and marking. The midfielders and forwards engage in pressing, aiming to disrupt the opponent's build-up play and force turnovers. The forwards may lead the pressing line, putting pressure on the opposing defenders, and blocking passing options. The midfielders support the press by closing down opponents in their areas, and denying time and space on the ball. 4. Defensive Responsibilities of Wide Midfielders The wide midfielders have dual roles of providing defensive cover on the flanks and supporting the full backs. They track the opposing wingers or full backs, preventing crosses and offering support to the full backs when necessary. Attacking Phase 1. Building from the back, the center backs distribute the ball from the back, looking for passing options in midfield, or playing long balls towards the forwards. The full backs can push forward to provide width and an additional passing outlet. 2. Central midfield control. The central midfielders play a pivotal role in controlling the game and linking the defense with the attack. They receive passes from the defenders and distribute the ball to the wide players or forwards. They also support each other in midfield battles and provide stability to the team's possession. 3. Wide midfielders role in attack. The wide midfielders provide width to the team's play. They make overlapping runs to stretch the opposition's defense, receive passes from the central midfielders, and deliver crosses into the box. They can also cut inside to create scoring opportunities or combine with the central midfielders and forwards. 4. Striking partnership. The two forwards work in tandem, with one player often playing as a target man and the other as a mobile striker. The target man can hold up the ball, win aerial duels, and bring others into play. The mobile striker can make runs behind the defense, create space, and combine with the target man to create goal-scoring opportunities. 5. Transition and counter-attacks. The 4-4-2 formation allows for quick transitions from defense to attack. When the team wins possession, the players can launch counter-attacks by swiftly transitioning the ball forward, utilizing the wide players and forward speed and positioning. It's important to note that the specific roles and instructions within the 4-4-2 formation can vary based on the team's philosophy, individual player qualities, and the opposition's strengths and weaknesses. Coaches often make adjustments and variations to suit their team's needs and game plans. I hope everybody enjoyed our video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more content.